said we them chosen people. Moses walked us all out of Egypt and gave his laws and he said we supposed to keep them. They said we exposing people, exposing. but really we examine the facts. It's hard to hide when we seek and expose your evil. Okay, the brother, mouth of the God. breath speaks oh Yahweh. Yahweh breathes breath from the heaven. Well, you said Yahweh now. You said Yahuwah a few seconds ago. You look, you look, I, I got you. I get what you're trying to do, but, but you got to understand. We speak English right now. The Most High, his name is in Hebrew. Paleo Hebrew, there's no E, like I showed you earlier. There's no U, there's no O, there's no J in the Paleo Hebrew. So it can't be Yahuwah, it can't be Yahweh, it has to be Yahweh. Yahweh, there you go. Yahweh. Yahweh, okay, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yahweh. That's his true name. Because what's your, what's your actual name, brother? Zachariah. Okay, yeah, if your name is actually Zachariah, what if I called you Zakobi? <laughs> or Zakua? What if I called you Zakua? Is that your name? From a here? No. No, that's not your name. Uh, right, so I, I'll be calling you out of your name. Yeah. And if you're supposed to call on the Most High, you got to know the Most High's name. That makes sense? Go to Acts chapter 4, verse 11. So knowing, now that we know the Most High's name, and now we know who our God is, we can't serve other gods. We can't make our own God. We got to serve the most high God, the only true God. You got it, brother. You want me to go straight to it? Yeah, yeah, please. The book of Acts, chapter 4, and verse number 12. Right. Neither is there salvation in any other. What the Lord say? Neither is there salvation in any other. The Lord said there's no other salvation in the earth by calling on a name by what? For there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So we can all, we have to know the name of the Most High because there's no salvation given to given to us through any other name but the Most High God, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shah. The world calls Christ Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524. His name is not Jesus. Again, in the Hebrew, there's no J. Yeah, what am I saying? I'm about to go back home. So, so I got you. So those different transliterations, like the NLT, the ESV, the GNT, they're making certain words easier for you to understand. That's not to say they're a false Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, we agree there are certain things that was taken out specifically in the NLT. There's a verse, Matthew the 18th chapter and 11th verse exactly. was completely taken out. But that's not to say that's the false Bible. We believe, you have to believe in the Bible. Right. There's no di there's no different Bible, so to speak. Like I said, it's to make certain words easier for you to understand. You understand, brother? So the point is, you do have to come back to the Bible. And the Lord said you blessed if you read the Bible. What's your brother's book? Uh, you can drop that. Go to Revelation 1 and uh, 3 real quick. And can you go to uh, Isaiah 34 and 16? So, brother, all praises that you say. And you said something about Nathaniel. You mean yeah, Bishop no. Nathaniel? No. The music that I like to say is something to artists. Yeah, artists. Okay, I got you. saying, like, I, the way I'm inside, I know who we are. Oh, so far as, but this is a, a confirmation from all the history that I don't went crazy all night searching right. and re realizing. Y'all giving me, like I said, I know, I know. All praise the most high. The most high exactly giving me, yeah. All like, praise the most high. That's why I'm still here, bro. All praise really? You say this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse number 3. Bring it up. It says, Blessed is he that readeth. What the Lord say? Blessed is he that readeth. No, don't pick up the Bible. Blessed is he that readeth. God said, You're blessed if you read the Bible, brother. You're now blessed. What's the opposite? If you didn't read the Bible, what's the opposite of being blessed? No. You got blessings and you got what? Curses. Curses. Right. So if you don't read the Bible, what happens to you? Curses and not no blessings. You don't get blessings. Right, right. You blocking your blessings. Yeah, you're gonna keep running into brick walls. Right. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So God said you're blessed if you read. Because when we started to read, we went in the Bible and found out who the Bible is truly talking to. He's not talking to the whole world. God doesn't get like we showed you. The Lord really showed you. He doesn't care about the white man. He don't care about the Chinese man. He never cared about the Arabs. He never cared about the Africans, brother. He never cared about nobody else but these 12 tribes. Right. And now that we know that, brother, we got to serve the Most High and follow what's written in the book that he gave us. He didn't give us the Quran. He didn't give us all these other books that's out here. He only gave us the Holy Bible. Yeah. You can read on, King. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things. And do what? And, and keep, keep those, those things. things. And not only do you have to read, you also have to apply it and keep it. 
Read on, King. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. For the what? For, for the, the time, time is, is at hand. hand. And the time is at hand. The Lord, because you, like you said, you're from Milwaukee. God brought you out here, brother. Yeah, I know he did. Hey, brother, hey, brother. Remember when we talked? What are we teaching? We're teaching this brother right now. What are we teaching, brother? What do you think? Come on. Jesus? Huh? Jesus? Got a new teacher. Brother, join the camp, brother. Nah, I can't. I can't. I, can. I got to get hold of my child. You see yourself over there. I'll tell you the right. You still? You get the Download fire? it. Download it. Take it with another one. All right, brother. Thank you. All praise to the most high. See that? See that, brother? Brother, just grab me up. Yeah, All right, crazy. Right, right. Where's security? I see the All praise. Come on, we're going to do that. Not I got you. I got you. Well, all praise to the most high. But the Lord just showed you that. That's, oh, the, yeah, that's the Lord. That it does work. See that? That it does work. You said it don't work. You said what we teaching doesn't work. You said that earlier. I know that was might might have been in your ignorance. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, no, no, you're right. You're right. I don't want to even go back there. Because we turned a new leaf. Let me show you this in Isaiah. Oh, it's like, don't get Isaiah. It's Isaiah. You still got it? Yep. Come on, bring it. It's Isaiah. 34 16, right? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And do what? And read. One more time. And read. God says, seek out of the book of the Lord. Where is the book of the Lord? Where's the book of the Lord, brother? What is it? The Bible. All right, all right, all right. You got to make sure, brother. Because when you, even in a, if we're teaching you, we got to make sure you're learning. And we have to adjust the teaching process and so on and so forth. Are we don't King? Take this off. No, yeah, I got me one. Yeah, I'm here. All crazy. Let's read on. No one of these. One second. The brothers got something for you. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Hey, brother, you need some water? We got some water for you too. Yeah. Yeah, we got. We got. But hold on. We gotta give you the living water first. Then we're gonna give you that water. That's the deal. True water. True water. Let's read on. Yeah, let's go. No one of these shall fail. What the Lord say? No, no one, one of these, these shall fail. No, it's not working. No, no one, one of these shall fail. fail. Read. None shall want her mate. What the Lord say? None shall want her mate. Go ahead, brother. Okay, shut up. All praise to the Most High. Shut up, shut All praise to the Most High. So the Lord said, No one of these shall fail, and none shall want her mate. Many you can't compare this Bible to nothing else. Getting down with other things, it ain't it. That's all the false way. We love that a lot of people don't come out here. That shows us that this Bible is true. Right, right. Because the Lord said this is the thin path, the narrow path. Right. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Uh -huh. And guess what? If everybody's walking one way, and the Lord got a certain few walking the other way, that shows you where that, where the, that one path is. That's the true way. The Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man coming to the Father but by me. So everyone is not following the Most High, nor his Son. Therefore, you see, everyone's going to get jammed up. When all the world is destroyed and burned up and they have to deal with famine and, and uh, nuclear destruction and the servants of the Lord, we're going to escape all that. Why? Because we believe in the Lord. We need Job chapter 5 verse 19. And then we're going to go to the Song of Solomon. So these things are important, brother. This is how you build up your faith. Give me Romans chapter 10 and 17. Bring this out in Job. Is that 5 and 19? Job 5 and 19. Yeah. This is Job chapter 5 and verse number 19. Right? Oh, it's like I'm gonna start at verse 18. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He wounded and his hands make whole. He do what? He wounded and his hands make whole. So the Lord, he's the one that wounds us. He's also the one that binds us up. He's the one that protects us. He's the one that heals us. Not crystals and copper. I, we understand the benefits of copper, but you gotta understand that that's not what's healing you. The Lord heals you. The Lord sent you here. The Lord's giving his word. The Lord's restoring your soul right now, brother. Yeah, we do. Let's read on. Yeah. Verse 19. That's all I'm saying. This is the most high. All praise to the most high. That's why I look at that. I'm good at that. Like I said, I didn't want to make that. Go ahead. All praise to the most high. Verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six trumps. What the Lord say? He, he shall, shall deliver thee in six trumps. What if I lost my job? He, he shall deliver thee in six trumps. What if I got back pain? He shall deliver thee in six trumps. What if I lost my house? He shall deliver thee in six trumps. What if I got in a car accident? He shall deliver thee in six trumps. What if my woman left me? He shall deliver thee in six trumps. The Lord said in six troubles he going to deliver me. Time and time and time again. Every time you catch hell, the most high he was always there for you. When you really think about it, the only person that was ever there from the beginning of your life to right now was the Most High. Everyone's forsook you. 
No one else is really there for you but the most high. Let's read on, King. Yay! It's seven! And there, what? It's seven! seven. And what? It's, it's seven. seven! And seven, read. There shall no evil touch thee. But the Lord said, guess what? No evil is really going to touch you. You might have to catch a little hell, go through a little turmoil. The most high is there for you as long as you're there for him. He guides your life to get you to this point right here. Let's read on, King. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. When there's a famine going on in the earth, he's going to be the one to redeem you from death. When all hell is breaking loose, we're a missile is hitting that old man in the head and his umbrella. And guess what? The Most High God, he's going to be right there for you. He's going to be the one delivering you in a chariot as long as you believe in him. We're going to keep. And in war from the power of the sword. When there is war, World War III, like I said, bombs dropping, things going on, martial law in the streets. That's all he's heard about. See that? Hey, the Lord, he's going to be there for you. Let's read on, King. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. The Lord said you're going to be hid when men try to say different things against you, different accusations. And hey, the Lord's going to be there for you to deliver you out of that. Yeah. He did it for Peter. Peter was locked in prison, and the Lord bailed him out. He broke him out with an angel. Same thing happened to Silas and uh, Paul. We read Acts 16, chapter. Right. Let's read on, King. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction with it. Well, read that again. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. The Lord said, neither shall you be afraid of destruction when it comes. Why? Because the Most High, he's there for you. He's omnipotent, as they say. He's all, the Most High omni, sees everything. Yeah, they say omni. Yes, the, the Lord sees everything. Omni meaning all. Right. So the Lord sees everything. He's there. He's going to be there for you. He has a number of amounts of angels that's encamped around about us right now. Right. To show you this message. To guide you, to strengthen your mind. Now it's of the Lord if you receive this or not. It's not of us. We can teach as much as the Lord wants us to teach, but it's the Lord that unlocks your mind. Right. You know, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. The Lord said at destruction and famine, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he, he said you shall laugh. Meaning when all hell is breaking loose, you'll laugh. Like you're doing right now. Wait, 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 this just happened. It right. just happened. Like, literally, like the dude said, he was, his white dude was like, I will be hiring you, and I don't know why, but he had two black people work for him. You know what I'm saying? The minute in reality, the two Israelites working, and I'm like, okay, why well, can't I be hired? I just laughed at him. And like, he was so mad, he got so red, he went behind the thing. And after that, I, I got blessed with him. basically everything that I wanted. I just gave him to the most high. All praise to the most high. Most thanks to the most high. All praise to the most high. Before I eat, I say thanks to God and they just in the most high. The most all seeing, you see everything that we're doing right now. Right. It's working. It's just that, like I said, when I said it wasn't working, it was simply because it shouldn't be right that I'm the only one that's sitting. And it should be more of a, and my friend should have been sitting here too, considering that he was saying, following certain things, but it wasn't for him to hear. Yeah, exactly. That's, 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 that's yeah. Clean that up. Because it's not for him. And, and we don't care if it's a thousand people out here or just one brother out here. We come out for the, for the whoever the Lord wants us to come out for. That's right. The Lord told us to go on the highways and hell just hedges and compel my people to come in. But we understand all of his people are not going to come in. Right. The Lord only wants a certain amount of people to actually believe in his word. Right. What said one of the city to in the field. Exactly. You yeah, about to say something? Yeah, I was about to say too. And uh, on top of everything, we are saying like, we can actually see it working with him now, actually. Right. Like, before when you was talking, saying whatever you were saying, you know, y'all y'all bringing me back to the things that I saw. Exactly. Exactly. On my own. Like, my mom, cussing me, you know, I'm not cool no more. I keep telling you, you are the part of you. God is like, you know, I'm not the other part. I'm just too That's what I was trying to say. That's why I'm looking at eyes. I can read people. I'm stronger than, I know my baby bullies are my problem. Don't nobody mess with me. I give it all to God. I give it to the most God. That's what I'm Literally, so when y'all, I saw y'all, it was like y'all saved my life. Like, so that's when I, that's when I can. And it was just like, I didn't want y'all to hear what I was saying and come on home. I'm so used to that. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know, I can tell you that I'm so used to that. But, and I didn't want to start talking because like I said, when I look at this, it's all awesome. the time. So that's all I'm supposed to do. Okay. Be it on it. All praise the most high. Yeah. And the Lord had us, we, that sign was made for us a few years ago by a sister. Sister made that sign all for a few years later for that to be the thing to catch your eye. Right. Bring this out of Song of Solomon 3 and 1, please. This is Song of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 1. Here we go. go. By night on my bed. 
Can you get three and one piece on the top of the Or you can take the tickets over there. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 3, from the top. Bring it out. By night on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. What the Lord say? But I found him not. So the Lord said, there are certain individuals in the earth who look for the Lord. They just going about it in different ways. They, they, they're searching and seeking like you were, like we did. We all had different walks into this truth. We didn't just wake up and now we're innocent. No, the Lord brought us in different walks of life. And each at an individual rate, at the most highs rate even, and the Lord had gradually brought us into this truth. Right. Read that again from the top, King. Gone. By night on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loved. And you love the most high. Yeah. Right? All praise yeah. the most high. That's right. I sought him, but I found him not. What the Lord say? I, I sought him, him, but I found, found him not. But but if you in this world, you're not gonna really find the most high. Because this world is clear contrary toward the Lord. They turn to it. Good, evil, and the evil good. Right, we don't care. Verse 2, I will rise now and go about the city in the streets. In the where? In the streets. But that's what you did. You rose up and you went about the city and the streets. You're in the street right now. We don't. And in, and in the broad ways. And in the where? And in the broad ways. We're in the city. And in the broad ways. We're in the broad way, brother Reed. I will seek him whom my soul loves. But guess what? Now you seek him whom your soul loves. Now the Lord has you in the middle of this city on 10th and Market Street finding who your soul loves. Uh, Are we don't think? Uh, I, it says, I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but found him not. What the Lord say? But I, I found him not. Because you said there's not others that's out here teaching like we teach. Now, all praise to the Most High. Right? We're, we're just man. We... It's not, you could have went up the street. I'm sure there's other camps up there right now. You got HOI that teaches out here. You got Brothers and Zakari teach out here. GMS, they teach out here, if I'm not mistaken. IUIC, IGBK, they're around the uh, corner, so on and so forth. So there's other camps and other people that teach. If they teach who you are, that you're an Israelite. We don't think. Verse 3, the watchman that go about the city read, found me. Read that again. The watchman that go about the city found me. It just so happened that the watchman that goes about the city, and we found you, brother. The Lord allowed us to put that poster out here today, and guess what? And the Lord caught you over here. We caught you with guile, as the scripture said. Meaning we, we, we had to be crafty to get our people out here. If we were just out here, no, no posters, it, not to say sheep won't come up, but it helps out a little bit more when you got color and you got different things that you can show to brothers and sisters. Now, did you know that our our camp even is known as the Watchman for Israel? So let, let's read that again. Yeah. Verse number, verse number three. Right. The Watchman. The who? The, the Watchman. Who are we? The, the watchman. watch. Read again. The, the watch. watch. Read. That go about the city found me. The Lord said, "The Watchman that go about the city found me." Read. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, saw ye him whom my soul loved. And the one you were looking for was the Lord Yahweh Shah. Again, you turn that back around. And you were looking for the Lord Yahweh Shah. You say you post about this picture all the time. How you posted about this all the time, it just so happened we got him out here. That's not a coincidence, that's brother. That's why I came and really was to get back to God. See that? The Lord did that. But I looked at, I go past the Freemasons big all the time, and all these things, I don't even see the realness of it. Like, I got friends like that, but people like that, I see out of my book. Right. Yeah. All praise, that's what we're going It says, verse number four, it was but a little that I had passed from them. It was a little. You came over here, first you were scoffing. Well, we'll call it what it is. You were scoffing, brother. Brothers have a lot of mercy on you too. I say that. But that's the Lord. That's the Lord. All praise to the most high. Then the Lord said it was but a little, we don't keep that I passed from them, but I found him who my soul loved. But what? But I found him who my soul loved. It was a little while. You was here, then the, the elder Jonah, he was on the side talking to you. And guess what? Did you find who your soul loved, brother? What's his name? Yahweh, Yahweh, and his son is Yahweh Shah. This would be the, this is a, a depiction of what Christ would look like. 
It's not a guarantee. We, we didn't see the Lord directly. But it's a depiction as it's read in Revelation, the first chapter, in the 14th verse. So this is the sun, what the sun will look like. And we notice the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The name of the Most High, the name of his son. We don't think. But right. I found him who my soul loved. I held him and would not let him go. No, I, I, I'm going to get rid of him. And would not I'm let him go. go. I'm going to get back to my Christian. And, and would not let him go. go. I'm going to get back to my own religion. And, and would not, not let him go. go. You got, you can't let the Lord go, brother. Right. Now you found the Lord. You can't walk about not knowing who you are ever again, brother. Right. You know who your God is. You know there's only one God on the earth, and he's your God. God. Go to Joel 2.27. He's your God. God. Let's read on, King. Yo. It says, slug it. And it says, I would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house. Until what? Until I had brought him into my mother's house. And you say you've been, now, this is on a low level. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, brother. You got it. Dark, yeah, I was going to say, on a low level, I know you're talking about your, your mom and so on and so forth, but the Lord is really saying, meaning you have to bring, you have to be a part of wisdom. Your mother's house is wisdom. This understanding. You have to now bring your mind here. You have to now read this, this word night and day, day and night. Because when you read this word, this word is like a mother. It's going to clothe you. It's going to comfort you. It's going to protect you as a mother's job is to do. You understand? The Lord tell you that in Sirach chapter 15 verse 2, right. that wisdom is as a mother. Right. She also will meet you meet you as a wife. As a wife, she's joined into you. Your wife looks for the care of you. It brings peace to you. Uh, well, not it, but she brings peace to you. She protects you, so on and so forth, and on another way. And that's what wisdom would do, brother. You understand? So that's what it means by your mother's house. Right. Right. Read on, King. And into the chamber of her that conceived me. Right, read on. Verse 5, I charge you. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the by the rose and by the head, by head sorry, and by the hinds of the field, that ye stir not up nor awake my love till he plead. Till what? Till he plead. And you don't want the Lord to come and destroy you, brother. Now you know who our love is. Our love is Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shah. And we don't want to cause the Lord to come earlier than He needs to come. Because the Lord has specifically has a set time and has a set purpose for everything under heaven. And the Lord is now giving you this time right now to come back to him. What are you going to do though, brother? You'll come back home? All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Come back home, brother. That's what we are here. Our Father's house has many mansions. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I would sit nice when I go back. All praise to the Most High. That's right. It's just that I had the wrong... Expensive. That's right. it. That's right. For real, like I appreciate y'all, boy. Like for real. Like, I'll praise the most high. For real. I'll praise the most high. Seriously. My mother's teacher wasn't in teaching. Wasn't. Man, I wasn't. I'll praise the most high. Yeah. Let me show you something, brother. What you got? I got uh, Luke chapter fifteen and eighteen. Come on, you bring it. This is Luke chapter fifteen and verse number eighteen. Right. No. It says, I will arise and go to my father. What the Lord say? I, I will, will arise and go to my father. Now you have to wake up. The Lord is waking you back up. You got to go back to your father. Who's your father? Yahweh. Yahweh. That's right, brother. That's, that's the father. Read on, King. And I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. I, would, I did what? I have I sinned against, against heaven. heaven. And now you have to repent. You know who your God is. Now you have to ask forgiveness of the sins you committed. Because you've been in sin, brother. And as, as you read the commandments and as you come back to the law, yeah. you understand the things you did wrong. Yeah. But guess what? You have grace and mercy to repent. Right. Because our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he died for you. So that you now can repent. Even though we did things worthy of death, we can repent. As long as you believe. We don't think. I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And am no more worthy to be called thy son. And am what? And am no more worthy to be called thy son. Because when we go against God, we're no longer worthy to be called his son. Because the sons of God, they follow God. They're not following Baal, Satan. They're not following his world. They're not into Santaria or, or, or Catholicism. Right. They're serving Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world called Jesus Christ, the true Lord in the earth. Let's read on, King. Make me as one of thy higher servants. Do what? Make, Make me as one of thy higher servants. servants. And when you come back to the Lord, you want to ask the Lord to convert you, to heal you, to protect you. The same things you was looking to that uh, crystal to do. 
Read on, King. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck. And did what? And he ran and fell on his neck. So the Lord has compassion upon you. Right. You you want to come back to the Lord, the Lord is having mercy upon you, brother. Right. Read on, King. And kissed him. And did what? And kissed him. And the Lord is kissing you on the cheek, on the forehead, hugging you, showing you that love that we all want. Read on, King. Verse 22, I'm going to jump down. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand. And do what? And put a, a ring, ring on his hand. hand. Read. And shoes on his feet. Yo, somebody got moved at It's about the shot. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead. For what? For, For this, this my son, son was dead. What the Lord say? For, For this, this my son, son was, was dead. dead. For this my son Zechariah was dead. dead. Uh, I said that. Right, you say you said that? Everybody, I asked what I've been telling everybody. I said, I, I'm dead. I'm really dead here right now. See that? I'm like, really not really living in one job. I'm not really here right now. Damn, brother. Go, go to, so go to Ephesians 2 and 1. Crazy. And that's the spirit that the Lord put that upon you to know you was dead, brother. You was absent. If you would have walked up the block, you was dead, brother. The Lord could have had mercy on you another time, but if you would have continued on walking, you was dead. Right. right now, you're being resurrected. Lord willing, if you believe in this Bible, not me, not Yazarak, not the elder Jonah those out here, not the brother Yashar right here, nobody. But the most high. That's the only way you can live. Let's read that again. For this my son was dead and is alive again. And is what? And, and is, is alive Bible. again. Because this Bible, it quickens you. Right. This word, it heals you. It, it, it brings you alive. You got something? John 6. Come. Hold that. One second. Let me finish that. And they begin to be married. Right. And the Lord said, then you begin to be married with him again. Right. You'll be joined with the Lord and rejoice again. You had, some, you had a king? Come right up. This is the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. Bro. It is the spirit that quickened it. What the Lord say? It, it is, is the spirit, spirit that quickened it. It's the word of the most high that quickened it. Read on king. The flesh. The flesh prophet is nothing. Bro, we just, we just man. Hey, there, we, we seen a lot of brothers come in this truth and fall out this truth. So we just man at the end of the day. We're just vessels of the Lord right now. We don't king. The words that I speak unto you. What the Lord say? The words that I speak unto you. How about this holy Bible? The words that I speak unto you. The words that I speak unto you. Read. They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. They are what? They are spirit. And what? And they are life. And they are life, brother. Keep bringing this out in Ephesians, the second chapter, King. Ephesians. I said to you, everything that you're going to right now is going right back to you, man. Everything y'all doing right now, I take that all praise to the most high. Let me show you this. I know you gotta go soon. I'm, I'm really like out here right now. Uh, now I'm gonna be out here. Oh well, yeah, hey, hey, all praise. All praise to the most high. Brother say yo here. All praise. Yeah, 716. I mean, like I, that's what I was saying. He wanted to go. He was going. I knew, I know who I am. Yeah, you, you know why he wanted to go, right? But this ain't, this ain't for him. No, yeah. He knew if I would have got him, so I mean, he was like, oh, you on their side now. They now would have been the back. Right, right. And, and look, you can't feel bad, brother. You got it. No, go ahead. You can't feel bad, brother. Because the Lord, at the end of the day, if you, you, know, you know this word. You know this we word. We know what we're doing. Right. We don't really know what's going on. Right. Hey, brother, come back, brother. I know what's going on. At the end of the day, the Lord, remember the Lord said that that's... The Lord, the Lord said that that's I don't got my glasses. Hold on, hold on. I don't got my glasses. The Lord said you gotta separate yourself from him. So of course he won, but you can't. You gotta, you gotta stand bold, brother. You gonna take his side, or you gonna take your brother's side? That's what I'm saying. That's why the Lord got you. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I said, I told my mama, like, I said, like, I feel like I'm the third coming. That's how I look at what, it. What I you said? I feel, feel like I'm the third coming, right? but I am not him. You don't, don't do that. I am not him. No, but I'm saying, this is how I thought based on not so much I was saying, but taking in and adding my extra stuff to it. What I was stating was, I know who I am. Okay. I'm the Bible. You want to get covered? I know who I am. I know where we come from. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, uh, what they say, 
something to the pudding or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's you know, let you know the, the truth. truth. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that right there, of course, I'm gonna blah 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 everything that I've been thinking about. Right. But truthfully, y'all right. So I'm gonna sit here with y'all. Y'all know more knowledge and wisdom than I would ever get coming out here. So I would never see my time to stop. God brought me here because I was gonna be one part of a group or some form that's showing the truth of who we really are. So when y'all said God told me to, that, yeah, most I did this stuff because right here. Yeah, most I did create that pool between me and him. I damn him. I didn't even know he was there no more because I was too arrogant to know what I was saying. Right. I argue with that because it's giving me clarification in my mind that what I've been feeling these last couple of days to be alone, I'm part of something greater than what I'm trying to make myself feel. Right. That's it. Right. That, and I don't even want to get back on that no more. I'm with y'all. Y'all say y'all are the most up. That's what it is. I know who I am. That I say I'm I'm powerful, man. It's just people are, like I said, it's all y'all and I'm the only one battling. That's yeah, not a battle. But that's what it would have meant because at that time my context was different. Right. Now I can be a part of it. Because I'm welcome to each other and y'all are welcome to me. Yes, absolutely, brother. We want you give me a moment to do that. But I know I'm something special. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I'm here for a reason. Right. That's right. And all I've been making is miracles. All praise the most high. Bring up. This is Romans chapter 10 and verse number one. Right? Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel. For who? For, for Israel. Israel. Is that they might be saved. Right? So the Lord said our heart's desire and prayer to the most high is that Israel might be saved. We don't care. For I bear them record that they have a real of God. No, no, read it. They have a zeal of God. That's why. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God. Right. But not according to knowledge. Well, what? You had a zeal to serve the Most High, but it wasn't according to the proper knowledge. So the Lord, it's okay to not know everything. We don't know everything. The Lord has teachers. The Lord has ministers that sit to the people to help the people. So that when you're built up, you can then be a teacher and go teach more people. Right. And then more people, and Lord willing, we seal all the 12 tribes and we get the hell out of here. Now, with that also being said, you uh, go to Syrac 37 and 12. With that being said, the Lord is, you're supposed to be joined to those that's like-minded to you. Sure. Yeah, Asher. And some hard. Yeah. I've read on the uh, menace. Man, Manasseh. 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 Right. Messiah. No, Manasseh. Not, not no, Manasseh. no, 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 no. Right. I talked about from, like, it all. Yeah. Levi. That's where the genes, like right. Benjamin. Benjamin, you know what I'm saying? That's why they use certain stuff. All right. Yeah, 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 brother. Well, look, let's, let's show you something. Bring you something. This is Sirach chapter 37, verse 12. Right? Check it out. But be continually with a godly man. What the Lord say? But be continually with a godly man. The Lord said from here on out, brother, you should continually be with godly men. Men that's trying to strive and keep the, keep the words of the Most High. Not men that's trying to pull you away and bring you back into the world. To go and worship this next creation that he just got. Now I have a quick question. Did that, did that man that was, was with earlier, did he show you about what you went to? Or did you show him? Okay, and he just followed you? So Everybody. Yeah. Leave. I got you. Not because I'm trying to leave. Nah, I'm trying to teach you that. Hey, we, we run this. I got you. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, right. yeah well, I was trying to be rude. Yeah, come here, brother. Or bring it up. But be continually with a godly man. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. What the Lord say? Whom, Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. The Lord said, be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest that's going to keep the commandments of the Lord. So now that you know who you are, there's also commands that you have to do. Commands that you have to keep. And brother, I know you said it. Maybe you're speaking, uh, because this feels good. It's a feel good moment right here. But actually, somebody give me Revelation 10 and uh, 10. 10 and 9. Yeah. So this is a good moment. You feeling good? You know who you are now. You know who your God is. That's the sweet part that comes with the truth. Right. There's also a bitter part that's going to come as well. Right. And that bitter is now knowing what you have to do and what you can't do anymore. Right. 
If somebody were to walk up and tell you, brother, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that, do you feel like you're still gonna follow that way? Or you feel like, oh, hold on now. I, I didn't know it was like this. Uh oh. So, I'm both following if, if this is what's true, and from my knowledge, from research, knowledge to research, right. and the wisdom of putting it out there, wisdom comes from when you create action. Okay, you won't never have the full understanding of the wisdom or the knowledge of it until you actually put the action. So of course there's consequences and repercussions that you take do things. If I'm taking my time, I'm still here. Of course I gotta follow the action of who our true God is. Right. You see me again, you're gonna be like, hey, you feeling good, King? You know, this, that, and the other. I gotta better keep that same tempo with you, not that I'm always nowhere else. Yeah, that's true. Because wisdom is is not with the, the action that you're putting in. Wisdom is you fearing the most high and keeping the Lord's commandments, then he'll give you wisdom. Right. It's not just experience, because I could put action in and yeah. smoking weed all day. Uh -huh. Now I'm knowledgeable of smoking weed, therefore I'll die because I have no wisdom. It makes sense? You smoke weed, brother? I'll be trying to I ain't gonna say try to quit. I'm I'm smoke weed. To okay. You don't want to smoke weed. You don't want to smoke weed no more. But you, you, what you do right now. But I do it dedicated. Just feel my higher stuff. I got you. Just to feel a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't. If we was there, brother, we was there. I don't need to do all that. But 90% of the time that I do it, I would drink the water, chill. I smoke the bait every now and then. As opposed to, I got a gene or wine of just nicotine or whatever. But I don't even smoke that, but talk to bait. I got I smoke bait. I don't even drink. Now, now, like I told you, there is a sweet part that comes with this truth, then there's a bitter. We want to show you the bitter, but let's bring this out, see? The book of Revelation, chapter 10, and verse number 9. Right? No. It's sludge. And it reads, And I went up to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. Do what? Take it and eat it up. This little book is his Bible. So an angel appeared to John and gave him the Bible. Read. And it shall make thy belly bitter. And in your belly is going to be bitter. When you actually digest it, when you actually understand, that look, once I actually get into this thing, there's bitter things that come with this truth. It's not peaches and rainbows. Right. It's not an easy walk to get into the kingdom. That's why everyone's not up here. If the Lord said you can be as you are, you can still be a homosexual, you can still smoke weed. His, his rules, his... Right. You can still smoke weed, you can still uh, hit a vape, you can still smirk coke, you can be a fornicator, you can be a damn idolater, whatever the case may be, hey, everybody will be up here. That's Christianity. That's Catholicism. That's Islam. That's spirituality. That's all those different religions that man creates on a daily because they appease your your uh, your flesh. Hey, this right here, this truth, this is going to correct your flesh. It's going to put you in order, brother. It's going to get your spirit to be subjected to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And there's a way, a lifestyle that you got to uphold. Agree on, King. And I took the little book of life. It says, take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. What the Lord say? And it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Right, because it's like in learning who you are, that you're a Hebrew Israelite, that you're God's chosen people, that the creator is your God, that's that's beautiful. But again, there's there's bitter things that come with this truth, and we're going to show you a few. This is morning. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon and as I eat it, Slucky, and as soon as I had eaten, my belly was bitter. As soon as you find out who you are, and you you like, all right, what's next? What do I have to do next to please the Most High? Then it's going to be bitter in your stomach, brother. Because like you just mentioned, you, you smoke the vape, you hit the vape, you, uh, you smoke weed, right? You do those different things. Well, guess what? We're going to read in the Bible, God is going to tell you not to do that no more. Now it's going to come a time where you either going to hit that vape again, or you're going to serve the Most High. You're either going to get down with the Lord, or you're going to lay down. Bring this out, King. This is Psalm chapter 111, verse 10. Right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all day that do his commandments. That do what? That do his commandments. Read his praise endure forever. So the Lord said the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom. Right. When you start to fear the most high, and the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. You got to hate evil. You got to hate all the evil way. You got to hate idolatry, putting things above the most high. You got to hate fornication. You got to hate blunt smoke. You got to hate 
bait smoke. You got to hate those things, brother. Then you'll start to get wisdom. Then the Lord will start to deal with you slowly but surely, and you'll start to get built up, brother. Now, what you got, King? I got 1 Corinthians 3, 16. I was just holding it. Tom, what you holding, King? Uh, I was in the right next to no, this is the book of Sirach. You want to start 19? Yeah, come, come, come. This is Sirach 19 and 19. Listen to this, brother. It says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Is the what? Is the, the doctrine life. of life. So the knowledge of God, that's the doctrine of life. That's the that's the way you're supposed to be living. Right now, you was living the doctrine of the world. We was once living the doctrine of the world. But guess what? Now you have to follow the ways of the Most High. That's true knowledge. That's the doctrine of life. Read on, King. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Do you know what it means to be immortal? Well, heaven will be on earth. Right, heaven is on earth. Right. So what does it mean to be immortal? What does it mean to be mortal? Mortal is to live. Live. Right. Mortal meaning you can die. Yeah, right. To be immortal meaning what? You never die. You'll never die. We, the Lord said those that do the things that please God, they'll be immortal. All right. Do you want to be immortal, brother? Do you want to live forever, brother? I've never died. Well, oh, all right, all right. I, I all right. know that. I, I'm saying, like, I, I believe in the most. In a spiritual sense. No, if you are, I believe no. that in a whole sense. Hold on, hold on. You say you're 23 years old. Yeah. So that means you were born on earth. So there is a time where there's regeneration in the Bible. So on a fleshly level, yes, you died before. Yep. But in a spiritual sense, if you're a part of the elect, then oh, yes, yeah, you never died. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, so, we, so what we want to show you, the ways that please God, that's going to bring you to immortality. That, that'll allow you to live forever and ever and ever. Does that make sense? Yeah. More than I can? God. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. What the Lord say? The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. When you fear God, that's wisdom. That's all wisdom. If you don't fear God, you don't have wisdom. We don't think. And in all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. When you perform the law, now you're moving in wisdom. When you keep the laws in this Bible, now you're moving in wisdom. If you don't keep the laws that's in this Bible, what God tells you to do and not to do, and you did your own thing, you're not moving in wisdom. Therefore, you'll be mortal. Therefore, you'll die, whether in Milwaukee or Philadelphia. Does that make sense, brother? Now, we got something for you, brother. Bring us up. Let's Actually, let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 15. No matter the land. Right, right. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 15. Right, right. that's it, brother. Only Yahweh. Had a delight in thy father. What the Lord say? Only Yahweh had a delight in thy father. So God only had a delight in your forefathers. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, these twelve tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, on them. We don't king. To love them. To do what? To love them. And God loves us. God doesn't want us to be down like this. Right now, brother, we down bad. And the Lord wants us to be lifted back up. But we only can do that through the most high. He brought us down to begin with. We disobeyed God. Therefore, we're at the bottom. Right. Therefore, we're cursing the city. Therefore, we're cursing the field, brother. And he chose their seed. And he did what? And, and he, he chose, chose their, their seed. seed. How about this, brother? And, and he, he chose, chose their seed. seed. And God chose hit the forefathers, of, or sorry, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and their seed, what? After them. After what? After, after them. them. And all the seed line after them. Right. So even you, brother, right? where would you be at? Tribe of Judah, most likely? According to your father? Native American. Your dad? Is your father Native American? You think? Or you, would you say he's so-called black man? Yeah, he's a white man. No, no, no. I, I know, brother. But these 12 tribes, according to your father's lineage, you will be from one of these 12. So if your father well, if he walked up here and say he was Dominican, and his lineage is so-called Dominicans, then you will be from the tribe of Simeon. If your father was a so-called Jamaican, according to his father, then you will be a so-called uh, Jamaican, so-called, but from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. Same thing with Levi, same thing with Ephraim, same thing with Judah. Right. Okay, all well, praises. So the Lord is speaking to these 12 tribes of Israel. And the first tribe is the top of 
Right, that's right. Now, we would be God's chosen people, as you know, and God is our we God. Are originals. We are originals. We the only. Okay. Yeah. To be original, meaning there is a new. There's no new. It's only us. What I'm, what I'm I got off my mind. Original, like. No, they ain't even I hard. got you. Nah, go ahead. Right, right, right. Go ahead. Right. All praise. Go ahead. Dude, I'm sorry, bro. I apologize, man. Say something. It's all good, brother. All praise and most high. It's all of the Lord, brother. You gotta start from that, brother, to come to to to. Right, right. <laughs> all praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. And, and and to and the Lord had you the, the elder Jonah as well. And all these men as no, I went up to him. I, was, I didn't. I was like, I gotta, I gotta. I want to explain to you what I really was trying to say. We we but, understood what you were saying, yeah. but you wasn't really giving a brother the time of day. Yeah. And like you said, that's all of the will of the Lord. That shows the long suffering of God. He was merciful. A lot of brothers, they'll just, they'll just run up the block. We, you saw it. I don't know if you saw them. There's another brother that just ran up the street. Literally. Yeah, right after. Yeah. I saw, I saw. You saw them, right? Yeah, I knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna sit there and last one. The Lord could have made you do that, brother. Nah, I wasn't. The Lord, He could have made you do it though. He could have made us do the same thing. Now hold on, brother. Take me too. But the Lord has his ten toes down, like He has you as well. You get something, brother? This is Acts 17 and verse 27. No. That they should seek the Lord, if haply they might fill after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. What the Lord say? Though, though, he, be not, though he be not far from every one of us. Right, because if you want to find the Lord, he's, he's right there. But guess what? Our people, they go every way around trying to find the Lord. They want to do everything else. They will make their own God before they serve the true God. Right, read on, King. For in him we live. What the Lord say? For, For in him man, we live. Right, read on. And move and have our being as certain also of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. For what? For oh, we, we are, are also his offspring. And we're the sons of God. We're the descendants of the chosen seed line. Right. So with that being said, brother, we want to show you a few things. Like that picture they got on the third floor in the Jewish uh, museum. Right, right. I got you. Now, with that being said, we want to show you a few things that Lord willing you can start to do. Let's, let's show the brother. Let's start. First Corinthians 3 16. So this is one of the this is one of the most important things that you can do today, tomorrow, next week, so on and so forth. Whenever the most I put in your spirit, and we will compel you, we will compel you to make haste with it. But we understand that this, this is still a learning process at the same time. Bring this out, King. In 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, right? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So real quick, where, do you, where is God's temple at? Does God have a temple? A, a building that he's at where you got to go there and worship him? Where is God at? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Do you think you're God? Or is God in you? Okay, there's a difference. I'll be outside of me. How he operates. But so God is in you're not God, oh. but but God is in you. Yeah. All praise. So let's read that again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So the Lord said, Don't you know? Don't you know that you're his temple? Right. Read on King. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And that His Spirit is supposed to dwell in you. Right. Read on, King. If any man defile the temple of God. What the Lord say? If any man defile the temple of God. One more time. If any man defile the temple of God. Read. Him shall God destroy. The Lord said, if any man defiles his temple, that body that you're in right now, what do you think God is going to do to you? Destroy you. Do you want to be destroyed? I, I don't think any brother out here wants to be the story. Oh, oh, no one really. Right, right, right. 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 Mm -hmm. So with that being said, what's some ways that you've been destroying God's temple? What I was just for the do? What was that? I was just for the walk away from his from his his word, his sign. That's one. Uh, uh, Smoking and I've been really not wanting to smoke. Right. Yeah, saying, okay, let's go down here. You go down here just because you want to do it. Right. And not following what God really wanted me to right. do. Right. Right. My mission was to come here and find this. But right. I could have been roaming the street. Because if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I was reading for the brother that was teaching. 
And I thought I heard that, that white man, that Edomite, come over and say we gotta get weed. Did you say that? No, he was mad at me because I didn't want to smoke. But he yeah. wanted to go get it? No, he got it. The body was wrong. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. That's why when you, I saw y'all, it was like a life saving. I wasn't arguing with so y'all. I was saying y'all was right. I was just saying it got to the point where I love my God so much to the point that I'm not going to keep throwing them names at him. I'm not going to keep doing all that extra stuff. When I go home, I'm going to go home. That's just that. I'm going to keep living his life, loving people, caring for people. No matter if they get the same energy back, I love all existence. It's what my master has created. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I said, when I said that you are God, you are God. God, God is on all of it. And the energy that rises, that rage that we get, we so to it. Yeah, how those most of us roll around the Mount Gurney River, swimming, 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 and go whoop them up. Yeah, that was God being there for it. Just in a way that he felt was appropriate. You know, then you go and act out on ways like how I just did. I could have just been like, bro, they right. Keep walking, but right, and left it like that. Like, I don't like pressure. I try to bring it out. I'm not gonna let myself go away from what all I've been wanting is to find my God. So now I found him. All for and you know, all the research that I've done has now been confirmed. Now I can just tag along and do the things that I gotta do. Me talking to y'all and doing this doesn't make me wanna go smoke. Right. Me reading my book that's in my bag right now don't make me wanna go smoke. God has fed me food because I sat here long enough and not because I sat here long enough just to get the food. See that? I never knew I was gonna get food. So that's when I say the most high, most praise to the most high, it's the one that can see all things. When I made this, it was made for the most high. Because of the way that we formulate together and that we need to unite. It's not the simple fact that it's protecting. The most high protecting. I don't need wear this all the time. I take it off before I go to sleep. If I needed it that bad, I just go to sleep with it. The Alger plan that because I didn't have a chance to really get to this portion. But no, you got to hear what God got to say first before you get to anything. He don't really talk about you explaining it so we make it to the gates. No matter what the gates look like, upside down, sideways, because we don't know. That's all we're just saying. But at least we can educate you on understanding who your God is. Stop being confused, my brother. Just come over here and hear what the fuck I got to say. Right. So you can know who your God is. That's been my trouble of explaining to people. We are the God. We are the. We do. We own it. This is ours, bro. When I say talk to God, you know what I'm saying? Like the reality. Okay. We are the true Israelites. I told my mom I'm Jew. I said I told my mom at first that I'm Zachariah Rebirth. I'm really. I'm real. I'm really the true Messiah. You said what? I said I was the true Messiah to my mom. You still believe that but, right now? But. No, I'm an asset of it. Right. That's what I started to believe. Okay. I started to believe that we are assets of who we originally was. You can never slip, go, you can never be. Do you think you're still the third Messiah? As of this? No. Right, okay. I look at myself as an asset. Like I have, God gave everybody power. Us. He gave us power. We just gotta know our power. And that's literally our name, brother. Can you give me that in Genesis 32? Genesis 32 and uh, I'll, I'm not explaining nothing wrong, am I? No, no, no. Okay. Well, that, that, so the only things you said wrong, but you correct yourself. Oh, no, okay. right. We we are God's little G as far yeah. as the sons of God. Right. Yeah. right, right, mm -hmm. right. And and we're not. We're, we never would call ourselves the Messiah. Right. We're not the Savior. Right. Right. We're not mm -hmm. the Savior. We're not. No. Right. There's the most high, then there's the sun, mm -hmm. and then it's us. Because that was before us. Right. Yeah, we never, you can, nobody could never overdo that, never go after that unless right. we choose. Right. We're not the second messiah, we're not the third messiah, there's only one messiah. Right. right? Now, with that being said, like you said, we have power. But our power is with the most high. You got that This is the book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Bring right. it out. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Verse 26. Verse 26. And he said, let me go. For the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go. I will what? I, I will, will not, not let, let thee go. go. So this is our forefather Jacob, right. who was wrestling with an angel. And his angel asked Jacob to let him go. Now angels, they're normally, they're depicted as uh, uh, all staring, scary, right? I'm, yeah, brother. Don't, don't do that. Don't the Lord send something to you later tonight? I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a daydream before. 
Except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? What the angel say? What, what is, is thy name? name? What the Lord say? What, what is thy name? name? What is thy name? Read. And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So our forefather was named Jacob. Jacob's name was about to be, going to be changed to Israel. It's going to read. And Israel had 12 sons. That's what we just said. You know what I mean? But Israel. But what? But Israel. But, but Israel. For as a prince that has power with God. You heard that, brother? And with men. And with who? And with men. You said we have power. But our power is with the Most High. And, with, and as long as we believe in the Most High, we have power not only with the Lord, but with men as well. Right. I Meaning we have dominion on this earth. Uh -huh. We will have dominion. We'll rule, brother. Drake. Forever and ever. Drake. And th that man that you had next to you, he's going to be your servant. Right. Yep. As we showed you in the scripture. That's right. That's, yep. But that's, that's, that's if you come back to the Lord. That's a, that's a reward for those that believe in the spoils. Yeah, spoil. It's a spoil of war. All praise to Moses. So we, we showed you one commandment. What's that commandment we showed you? That God said you can't do this thing no more. Well, he didn't say that. Somebody drink wine. You can drink wine. Right, right. You can drink, you can drink strong drink as well. In moderation, though. You can't be out of the You know, you know what I'm saying? follow the lead of non righteous Right. If you uh, what about if I ate pork? I think we eat pork. No. Why not? You know, man. I feel like I'm gonna eat. I feel like I'm. Gonna die. I ain't gonna lie. Well, God. Uh, that's why I was about to ask you to get back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can't eat pork. You can't eat pork. Right. You can't eat shrimps. Right. You can't eat, right. you can't eat crabs. Right. Lobster. Right. Uh, uh, any type of shellfish. Right. You can't do that. Right. And the Lord's gonna show you. You gotta, brother. This is Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 8. Read it out. And the swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. The Lord said, and the swine. You know what swine is? Swine, which is this one? The, the, the bird or the... That's a swine. Okay. okay. Swine, S-W-I-N-E. Swine is pork. It's another word for pork. Okay. Pigs. Right, read on. The Lord said, and the swine. Because of the bite of the hoof. Yet chew up not the cud. It doesn't eat the grass. Read. It, it is, is unclean, unclean unto you. It is what? It, it is, is unclean, unclean unto you. So God has animals that's clean and animals that's unclean. Right. The clean animals we can eat. Right. The unclean animals we cannot eat. Even their carcasses we cannot touch. It right. is dead. Right. right. Read on, King. Ye shall not eat of their flesh. What the Lord say? Ye, Ye shall not eat, eat of, of their flesh. flesh. So no more pork, brother. You don't do it already, but no pork. Right. And you also got to watch for other ingredients. That, that man that was next to you earlier, his people, the, the Edomites, they try to put different right. secret ingredients in our food. Right. Gelatin, right. glycerin, right. or right. Right. Uh, what's another one? Get out, get out. Gelatin, I said it already. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you said what? 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 Well, that's yeah, 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 that's what that, yeah, it's like. Monoglycerides, you gotta, you gotta watch these different things, right. brother. They're, it's evil. But guess what, that, that's when you further come along. Right now, just build up your faith on and I know for sure it's pork, and I and I see these few ingredients that we showed you right now. Look, I'm not gonna eat that. Just go about it from there. The Lord's gonna guide you as you continue to build up your faith, as you continue to keep the rest of the commandments and trust in the Lord. Read on, King. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, right? Nor touch their dead carcass. Right, read on. These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. So also some other things that you cannot eat are things that that's in the water but they don't have fins and scales and we just went over them what's some things that's in the water but doesn't have fins and scales shrimp uh uh shrimp pork it, well in the water shrimp lobster uh, clams uh clams uh oysters um off the spongebob mr right. uh, Crabs, yeah, right, that's right, all right. No, no Krabby Patties, brother. Yeah, right, 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 right. No seahorses. The brother used to say that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No damn seahorses. Sea yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, octopus, sea moss, seaweed. Exactly. Which is, uh, what's another word for it again? Sea 
Yeah, 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 and you can't, you can't eat, you said what, you saying that popcorn shrimp is different popcorn, yeah, none of that, so the Lord said we can't eat those things, the only things we can eat from the water, it has to have fins and scales, and we eat any, um, I don't want to keep white with my nose. I got napkins in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, But the point is, brother, that there are certain things that you can't do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, you got it? Probably got it. There you go. Everything looks but it's still food. That's all right. And we got some water for you, like we said. So the point is, brother, again, there are certain things you can eat and things you can't eat. I don't want to give you too much more, though. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't talk to you a lot. Yeah. Right? What's your nationality? My Israelite. Your Israelite. All praise the most high. There you go. All right. All praise the most high. There you go. What's the name of your God? Yahuwah. No, no, brother, look, brother. Yah, ha, what? Yahow, Yahow, Yahow. No, no, no. You snuck in there, Yahoo. Yahoo. Who is Yahoo? Yeah. I had to think about from Milwaukee, man. I got you. Stop. We understand. What time we I'm hearing it around y'all more, it won't sound like that. We understand. Yeah, if you are from it, that's how they would say it too. It still says like that. Right. Maybe you know what I'm saying? But no matter the context or the way I'm putting it or the way I'm doing it, I know. I, I know. We understand. So we want to say I that. I want to say if you called upon Yahuwah, the Most High wouldn't hear you. I want to say that because I'm not the Most High. Right. But if we know that we were given the, the true language, the Paleo Hebrew, it will or letters that's not in the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh. This is the Paleo Hebrew. Yah ha wa ha. Yahweh. Again, there's no U. There's no U. There's no E. There's no J or O in the Paleo Hebrew. So it cannot be Yahuwah. But we understand the Lord has grace and mercy. So if you just just so randomly forgot Yahweh, but you remember Yahuwah. Hey, Lord willing, the Most High has mercy. You understand? Yeah. All praises. You ought to be. Sure. You got any questions, brother? Nah. Uh, uh, make sure you um, keep tell for to keep me updated. Yeah, yeah, we got you. Yeah, I forgot his name, Jonah. Jonah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And your name is Brother Zachariah. Zachariah. Yeah. That, but, but I wouldn't also say that I I'm. It. I got it in my uh thing over there. Man. Yeah, I wouldn't say. You know I'm, if I take some and cast some out. Yeah, we got you. We got you. But I wouldn't say that I'm Zachariah reincarnated, or regenerated. You can't say that you're exactly right. Because the Lord told it. I'm not saying that on my own merit. I'm going to show you. Can you give me 1 Corinthians 10 11? Zechariah, he's, he's a part of the elect. He's for sure in the kingdom of heaven. Now, when you say you're Zechariah back on earth, it's not the same as you're saying that you're the Messiah, but you're saying that you're automatically a part of the kingdom of heaven when well, you don't know that. And you're making yourself with that number, that elect number. Bring yourself. You said 10 and 11? 10 and 11. Yeah. First Corinthians. Yeah. 11 and 10. 11 and 10. Come. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse number 10. Come. It says. It's a lot here. No, no. Is this it? We're, no. It's a lot here. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 10 and 11. Come. Should be. Lord will. 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 11. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse number 11. Right? Yo. Let such a one think this, that listen, such as, listen, brother. that such, sucking, let such a one think this, that such as we are in the word by letter, when we are absent, such will we also indeed when we are present. Are we on? For we dare not make ourselves of the number. What the Lord say? For we, we dare, dare not, not make, make ourselves, ourselves of, of the, the number. number. When you say you're Zachariah, you're making yourself of that number. Zachar the number it's talking about is the elected number. There are 12,000 men that's chosen from the foundation of the world that's going to for sure receive the kingdom of heaven. Zachariah is a part of that number. Right. He's a part of the book of life. He fulfilled his role. He did the work and he finished to the end. So when you say you're Zachariah, you saying that you for sure are going to make it and that you God now. Pretty much. You're saying you play. Like I'm, I'm well, well, I meant you're God as, as far as, uh, yeah, you, you, you know that you're, for, you're 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, brothers understand what I'm saying. You're saying that you know the will of the Most High and that you're for sure going to be a part of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. When we can't say this. You got to say, Lord willing. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. Right. Lord willing, I endure it to the end. Right. Lord willing, I make it to the kingdom of heaven. Right, it's up to him. Right. It's up to him. Agree, okay, it says, we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves amongst themselves are not wise. Are not what? Are no, not wise. That's not using wisdom. Now, if you get to the gate, that one of the 12 gates, and the Lord say, this is Zechariah back on the earth, all praise to the Most High. But you can't do that. Let the Most High do that. Right. The Lord said in Proverbs, it's not good to eat much honey. Right. Because net, eating much honey meaning now you're, you're, you're bigging up yourself. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. Right? We got to be humble in the state. Now, if you want to name yourself Zechariah, that's okay. But don't say you're Zechariah from this Bible back no. on the earth. No. My mom named me Zechariah. All praise to the Most High. She said God told her to name Zechariah. All praise to the Most High. That's why I go by that. All praise to the Most High. But other things too. So that's just based on reality. Like, what did you say? Other things? Other things. What I was saying, I love all existence. I love everything that my master has created. No matter if my mom sit there and believe in the one on the left or believe the one on the right, I love the fact that she exists. You know what I'm saying? That's my belief as just being a human. And if I never ran into y'all, that's what I would believe. But at the end of the day, I know that we the ones that run this. Okay, come. That's it. All praise to Mosai. All praise to Mosai. I got one last it. precept for you too. Go ahead. Very last one. Can somebody go I don't to even know where I'm going. So I'm in these directions. I ain't even gonna lie. You got you, brother. Sure got you. Yeah. Can you go to Acts 17 and 30? This is Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. Look it out. Look it out. In the times of this ignorance. What the Lord say? In, in the, the times, times of this ignorance. ignorance. The ignorance is us not knowing better. Us not being guided and showing the proper way. Yeah. The times of this ignorance, we was all there. Read. God winked at. What the Lord do? God, God winked at. God had mercy upon that. He winked at that. He could have destroyed us. When I was smoking weed, the Lord could have killed me. When I was doing what I was doing, the Lord could have killed me. Same with you. Same with all of us. We don't care. But now commanded all men. What the Lord say? But now commanded all men. The all men he's talking about is these men. We're the only ones that can receive salvation. If, if, if a man is not on his chart, they cannot receive salvation. Salvation is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Christ only died for the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, right. Yeah, the ones that accepted him. Yeah, those that accepted him amongst these 12 tribes. Right, right. Right, read on. But now commandeth all men everywhere to, to repent. To do what? To, to repent. repent. Do you know what it means to repent? Yeah, go against you. Go against you. Our heavenly father. No, to repent meaning to change. We had to change, but uh, to not repent is to go up against you. Right, yeah. so so to repent meaning just to change. Yeah. You was going against God, you was going against his son, Yahweh Shai, now you have to change and start following him. You was going left, now you gotta go right. You was dead, now you're what? No, I was saying I was that, that my interpretation, I should explain that. No, 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 we, we agree. No, I was saying that as so far as others, y'all understand when I say I love all these things, I love everything, right? Yes. But to somebody else, they wouldn't understand that either. You know what I mean? Because the belief system is different. But I'm going home as so far as that how people treat me and what I go through. I've been kicked out, the ways I've been kicked out. And then to still continue to push and go on and believe in them on top. I think I'd have made it pretty far. So I haven't went left. I actually the better my life since I got here. I came here and did everything I said I was going to do. Well, now, if we read earlier that there are certain ways that please God, and those ways is following the laws. If we not following the laws, then we're not following the ways that please God. Therefore, we was going left. But that's okay, because we were always there. Right. But now the Lord brought you back this way. Yeah, God know those good. Every time I did it, I always prayed for those times. I would say, I know I'm for to do this. I know I'm for to do that. Hey, you see what I'm doing? You're always watching. That's what my people is understanding me. I made it for the most time so he can see it all. He's already all seen, but I made it just to have some more creation of what I believe in. So this is it. People don't mess with me. They see it because it's of God. This is of God's creation. I created it. God clearly wanted me to create it. People sometimes say, you don't understand me. Come on, brother. We, we, talk, we didn't talk about that. Oh, I'm saying. Yeah. It's an understand. I that was an understanding you had before. 
Right. But now, but now, do you I think can follow something right, right. so far as what we want to hear? Gotcha. And not just a figment of our mind. Right. You know what I mean? I got gotcha. you. They gonna even you go to a uh, somebody who study things twenty four seven. They gonna go to this and be like, this is stupid. They're not even understanding it. They will take the time like you know, to listen out. Right. Like I said, we all could be wrong right now today. Whatever master I. I'm right in front of me, no matter if eyes or balls or energy or feeling, just to know it. I'm no powerful than something that I've created at all. But I am special of something of that all, considering how I treat them as beings and how I hear them out. And I'm the way I'm able to speak to people and shift the minds of people, not to manipulate people to allow them to be the best version of themselves. No matter if they black, white, African American, no matter what it is. The culture of everybody existing in my world. I love everybody outfit right now. I walk down the street, if I seen y'all one at a time, I'd be like, bro, I like your outfit. Bro, I might wear that one day, bro. Let me get you another week. Like that. But I've been pushed away from everybody to the point that I'm isolated by myself. So I learned how to do it myself. So I don't offend nobody or make anybody feel weird or feel like, why you make me feel like this? Why my body feel like this when I'm around you? It's not gonna work on y'all. It's not, it's not gonna work on y'all. Pretty sure it's something that I just said that like, oh man, yeah, yeah, something going on with him. Like, you know he's talking about a little bit. But let me correct you in a way of your God and the reason why you feel this way. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. And in the end of the day, I'm still gonna walk off and I'm still gonna have love for everybody in existence. Do I care about these structures? But I love the fact that God made it manifest like it did. And let it build like it did and let it be built over like it did. Cause I can go in here and go to HMM and buy something when I can finally get some money. I got you. you know I, what I, 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 I That's understand. what I'm saying. I that portion said. of it. But now I feel better at the heart and at the mind and on my daily life. I can follow somebody. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Now, as we taught you all of that, mm -hmm. there has to be one more thing we have to teach you because you mentioned it a few times. So let's just get it. Let's get uh, Sirach 6, uh, 6 and 13 and Sirach 12 and 10. Right. Just so you know this. Yeah. Because being an Israelite, Meaning the Lord had, actually somebody give me Leviticus 20 and 26. The Lord has separated you from everybody else in the earth. So we can't then have love for all the other people, all these other nations, when God doesn't love all the other nations. You love what God loves, right? Yeah. Right. So there's things that God doesn't love. Right. And the things that God doesn't love are the other nations that's on his church. And that's just been a word. God doesn't love the white people. God doesn't love the Indian. He doesn't love the Assyrians. Yeah, he doesn't love none of those nations. Except the Israelites. So you, I, I get you might have a genuine heart. And you really looking for a, really a, some love. Right, looking for a place and some love. Just know you're not going to find it amongst the other nations. Right. I see you before. He might have his brother. I saw you before. We had, we talked actually. But brother, I don't remember the problem. Right. We want to show you something, brother. Bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, right? Chapter 6 and 13. Right. Get out. Separate thyself from thine thy enemies. What the Lord say? Separate, separate thyself from, from thine enemies. No, stay with him. Separate, separate thyself from thine enemies. enemies. No, love everybody. Separate, separate thyself from thine thy enemies. enemies. God says, separate thyself from who? Your enemies, and bro. I was confused because when I saw them on the thing, Can it? I wasn't feeling it. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't feeling it like that. But when I seen the Israelites, that's when I really felt connected. And I read all the different things. I talked to my mom like I'm Jew. She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. She cussed me out. Like right. I went on a rent page. I went, I told myself all of everything. So it's like. No, that's it's wrong. And then that thing, it starts from one. I was born February 16, 2001. Everything starts from one. And then whatever zero is just a his plan. Like that was just his plan. They would have one hit after the eruption. Like they want to call it the Big Bang. Well, I, I heard you saying. Yeah. But the Lord said this. Read again. Separate thyself from thy enemies. Right, read on. And take heed to thy friends. And do what? And, and take, take heed to thy, thy friends. friends. Brother, who are your friends? My brothers. All praise to the Most High. There you go, brother. The Lord said, all praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. I was in transforming to my own being. 
Like, I was I was only wearing shit that looked like this. You got it. Like, but when I got here, I actually just started looking at one of y'all and I was looking way similar to y'all than anybody. That's why I haven't left. All person I literally was going to go back home. But I didn't. Even if you go to my back home in Milwaukee, yeah. we got brothers in Milwaukee as well. Right. They teach in Milwaukee. Right. If need be, if you ever go back, I can give you that information on where they teach us. That way you can be out there and do the location where they at. Then the Lord said, separate thyself from thy enemies and take good heed of thy friends. We don't keep. What's up? It's Sirach 12 and 10. Come. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. We right? Know, never trust. trust thine enemy. What the Lord say? No. Never trust, trust, trust thine enemy. enemy. So the Lord said, separate yourself from your enemy. Now he's telling you never trust your enemy. So when you out here with the love spirit for everybody, they just looking at you like, man, nigga, get out of here. Or they might even grab you alone just to keep you further away from knowing who you are. Right. Because when you loving everybody, you against God. Because God is not here for loving everybody. He's for loving your people. Right. You have to love your people. You understand that, brother? Yeah. A pianist, he loves the piano. He plays the piano. Alicia Keys, you heard of her. She loves to play the piano. Right. And we love her music. All praise the most high. You got guitarists. You got uh, uh, nationalists. We will be those who you call a nationalist. Another word for a nationalist, really, the definition of that is someone who loves their nation. Right. Now, in the world, they may call us a racist. Right. But you see there's 18 different races right there. Isn't God a racist? He loves one nation above everybody else. Right. Yeah. right. And that's the only thing we went wrong, that is not loving it. There you go, brother. There you go, brother. That's, the, that's, that's where we went wrong at right there. Because when we started loving, getting down with those Canaanites, right. we started worshiping their God. Right. We made a little God, a little Baal. Right. We got down with uh, uh, the other gods that they have as well. Yeah. Right. When we got down with the Moabites, the Chinese men. When we got down with the Japanese men. When we got down with all those nations, even Esau, the white man. Yeah. Now we serving their gods uh -huh. and not the true God. Now you don't know who you are, or at the time you did. Same for us, but now God has woken us back up to who we are, brother. Does all that make sense? So can we deal with our, our enemies? Can we be friends with our enemies? This is what happens when you're a friend to your enemy. Right, yeah. bring that out. This is what happens when you whistle at a right. white man, supposedly. Right. This is what happens, right. supposedly. Yeah, because you lie. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, that one hit me. That one hurts too. Yeah. This is what happens when you dibbling and dabbling with the white man. Don't you know they was out here all night, brother, right there? Out here all night. Why are they over here? Yeah. What crime is happening in Center City? Man? It's not there. As soon as we leave, they will leave. They will. Every single time. Every day. Yeah, they be following me. You got him? I had a piece of it. You got it right A little further down. Yeah. Right. So Rock 12 and verse 13. Who will pity a charmer? That's been with a serpent, mm. or any such as come die wild beasts. So one that go to a sinner is to follow with him and sins who will hit you. The Lord said, who's gonna pity you if you let a serpent bite you? If you too close to a serpent, brother, you deserve to get bit. Right. If you dip, if you got the white man right here, right. you deserve to get overthrown. Right. And not to put it like this, but if you were to continue to be with that man and we found out that something happened to you, we would not be surprised, brother, because you put a white man next to you when the Lord said, don't do that. Right. Say what? Throw you in the ditch, overthrow you. And then damn, throw the dirt over you. And, and keep the shovel right there and say, X marks the spot. That, that nigga was right there. Right. I did that. And they'll get away with it too. Right. So brother, you gotta, you gotta come back to the Lord, brother. Uh -huh. The Lord not gonna let that happen to you if you're with the Lord. But if you, look at this, brother, look at that. The Lord made that appear, brother, for you. Example A of how not to make. And he said, I'm a, aren't we the two Jews? He said that? He said that, yeah. Hey, brother, you gotta get out of there, brother. Separate that Hey, brother, hey, brother, don't Hey, brother, hey, brother, say something. Hey, brother. Did you see that, brother? Yeah, I know. That. I go through it all the time. Like. But that's what the Lord just showed you. Yeah. He said, separate yourself from your enemy. You can't be with your enemies. You can't be damn joined hand to hand. They, they might try to overthrow that, brother. Right. Hey, last night we had a sister. We out there. We did. We was doing our thing. Right. We tried to get his sister some, you know, some help. 
Hey, she had an uh, Edomite boyfriend. He snatched her food and tossed it back down. Right. Snatched the food that we gave to her. She was digging in the trash and trying to get some food for the night. So we helped her out. He snatched her food and tossed it back down uh, the hallway that we was at. And said, here, here y'all go. He was upset that we tried to feed our sister. That's what happens when you get down with the white man. You get overthrown. Somebody had a, a point? You got it. The only time, the only reason why they hang up with you is to make the soul look good. That's the only reason. Because they know who we are. They know what we can do. They know how we move. So by us being near them, that's what kind of like, you know, make them feel good about themselves. Because they know that them being with us is going to make themselves look good, make themselves shine. That's the only reason why they're being with you. But shit pops off. Yeah. Shit pop off immediately, they're going to leave. And guess what? You'll be thrust through. The Lord said, though, hand join a hand. The wicked shall not be upon it. Right, right. Let me get Proverbs 11 and 21. And then, and then we're going to get John 17. Come. Yo. I got John. Come. I ain't going to lie. We know, brother. We got you. Last word. Give you a ride or something like that. We got two of them for you. We might help you up. We might help you up. Get your phone charged. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, like oh, yeah. It's Proverbs 11 and 21. Bring it right. out. Though hand join in hand. What the Lord say? Though, Though hand, hand join, join in hand. hand. Though you join with the heathen, read. The wicked shall not be unpunished. They're not going to be unpunished. You're, given that you're joined with them, you'll also meet that same destruction. Right. And you don't want that, right? Wow. So what do you got to do? My All right, right. Brother, we'll we'll All praise the most high. That's it. That's it, brother. Right here. Right. And we right, like the brother said, we right here. We're gonna give you some information. You already got Jonah's number, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you got, I got one too, but yeah, yeah. I wanna take some off pass on. Yeah, you got seven, brother. Seven. And when you run out, you gotta come back. Yeah. Got you. But you, you can't get more until you finish yeah, those. I got to flip that yeah, first. Flip that pass. Seven, right. seven, right. seven for come back. Right. Right. I'm gonna call Jonah like I just passed all these out. I need it. And you have to come back. Right. Okay, but you good. With the fringes on. Why the fringes on? Yeah. No, we good. Oh, that's fine. Nah. Real bad. You come back. You come back next week. We got fringes for you. Okay. Yeah, what? We got fringes for you. Yeah, yeah. This is another commandment. Man's week, bro. Oh, we got you. We got seven more. Pieces, right? No, gotta get rid of my pieces. You gotta get rid of them. Have to, bro. I got, I got, I got pieces to them though, because I did no. take my time. You can keep that copper. Art is really art. You can keep the copper, brother. Copper. You cannot keep the minerals. Not the minerals. Let's bring it up. You guys, uh, William Thompson. It's made for. Yeah, it's really made for. Yeah, let me get back down. Well, we gotta show this, brother. No, no, no. I'm big. Wait, we gotta get rid of my idols. Right. Now, I want to see y'all. Y'all see me when I take my look. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all like? I don't like it. Well, we well, is that a is that like a dream? That look like a dream catcher at the bottom. It's it's, it's something similar to that, but it's the it's the the world and then the world. And then it's the ears, the security, the ears, the ear pureness. That's it. It's my version of the infinity. And this represents the most high, you saying? Yes. This yeah, is all go. seen yeah, to the most high. Yeah. The whole you have to actually break it down. Yeah. And a matter yeah. of fact, you, you do like you gotta get rid of the whole thing. You gotta cast yeah. it away. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get that in Isaiah? We're gonna help you. We're gonna help you with it though. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. help you, brother. We got you. It's gonna be a smooth transition. Very good. Yeah, we got you. This is this is this is wisdom of Solomon 13 and verse number 10. I think you heard me speak about that. I'm gonna talk to you. I probably was out here. Yeah. I'll be out here all the time. I'm from Philly. I'll be from Jersey. I probably saw you was talking to you about the same thing. That you do it for good. Yeah, you do. We, 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 we had a bad, bad problem. Never, never, bro. It's cool. We can get that at least. I got one. You got you. Come on, we got you. No, we got you. We got your neck. What you got? Never mind. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 10. Bring it it out. says, but miserable are they and in dead things is their hope. And in what? And in dead things is their hope. Because that's that's not a lie. Right. You said it represents the most high, but it's not a lie. Right. right. It, does, it doesn't do nothing. I could buy that crystal right now in the right. store. But we don't care. Who called them gods, which are the works of men's hands. And you made that with your own hand. Right, read on. Gold and silver. The Lord say. Gold, gold and silver. silver. How about copper? Gold, gold and silver. silver. Right, read on. To shoot art in and resemblance of beasts or a stone. Good for nothing. What the Lord say? Or a stone, stone good, good for, for nothing. nothing. And they're as stones good for nothing, brother. 
and not, nothing you can get from them. Right. Except damnation. Right. It's not a positive thing. It's, it's only destruction, brother. Right. Now we're gonna show you why. Let's bring this next one up. The book of wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse 11. Right now. It says, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles, shall there be a visitation. Shall there be a what? Shall, shall there, there be, be a, a visitation. visitation? God can visit you because you created an a right. idol. That's an idol. If you said this represents the most high, that's an idol. I would, this is just a lion. It has nothing to do right. with the most high. Right. This is just represent the symbolic of our tribe. Yeah, right. Tribe of Judah, a lion. Right. Reverend on King. Because in the creature of God, they are become a stumble socket. Because in the creature of God, they are become an abomination. And what? An, an abomination. abomination. That's known as an abomination. It's abominable to make something to be God. No, I didn't make it to be God. That's what I'm saying. Oh, all right, all right. This was out of our own creation of to represent God. To to create a newer concept. But this is nothing to newer do with concept God. Of what? This uh, that's what I'm trying to explain to y'all. I'm very spiritual before I said learn anything. On a, my, I'm looking at my context of spirituality. And that's the fact that I love all existence. Like you said, I know this already. But what's working for me in this life is simply loving everybody once i started showing love to everything in existence that i'm seeing for myself i started getting more things in turn in the world yeah in the world in the world bless it don't mean nothing to me but the world but it means something is because i received it and i did things in a, 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 a abundant way in a loving and cheerful way no matter if that person said hey back to me i still said hey i still said what's up how your day going out of respect and they just kept going just like now when i went past i saw y'all like i said it was like it caught my attention i saw him i'm like oh they must really know what they talking about it wasn't to go back and forth but at the end of the day i didn't try to go back and forth with my mom i could go back and say mom is what i learned but then i wouldn't be being myself and what god wants us to be if i'm not preaching god the real god right right you know what i'm saying but we are god you know what i'm saying right right so i'll be wrong but then at the same time now that you mess my whole relationship with my mom but i know god is going to be most times don't allow me to talk to her again yeah, yeah. she'll calm back down but then she probably wouldn't want to hear no more bullshit that i done learned it's not bullshit but you know what i mean for her it'd be bullshit y'all don't know me to a cup of tea but y'all took y'all time on y'all day to teach me no you know what i'm saying so this was made not it was made for myself if i put it like that just like how you got the lion, you like, it's just a lion, but someone else made that, right? Yeah, yeah but, but here's the thing though. You, with that, you would say that it helps you. No, I'm saying it helps because when I look down at it, in the way I formed it. You was gonna say something. No, the way I look down okay, at it, the way I, it's, I formed it, it, it creates a look. A I what? guess you could say, it creates a look, but to <clears throat> everybody else, what they perceive is what they perceive. To me, this is connecting unity. This is connecting us all things into one. All these, all this going through here is chaos. Yeah. That's chaos, all the madness. That's what that the wiring going through there, like it's all chaos. Okay. Forming a world into together, the old world and new world. Forming it together into one. But, but that would never right happen is because God is always in the middle. That's the, the symbol of it. What's the symbol of the lion mean for you? But one second. I told you already. So you would say you would say that would be God in the middle. No, it wouldn't be him. But it's and symbolic. Exactly. Him. But it's a symbolic. So that's what we're talking about, brother. That's what I'm it's an idol. It's an idol. Right? But it's not. It's it's for me. It's an idol, brother. Yeah, it's not an idol. I don't idol. I don't look at it and worship it. I don't do none of that. And, and, hold on, hold on. I don't look at it. I, we, we got you. Look, let me just say this real quick. Cause you said it gave you protection, right? Yes. Yeah, as so far as you, when I was cre when since I've created it, it's protecting you. Yes. How, how can that protect you, brother? Uh, is that a lie? It can't, it, it can't protect me physically. You're a lie. Is that a lie? Uh, no. No. Is God a lie? Yes. Yes. So how is that protecting you? It's protecting me because God used my hand. And the, the, it gave me a brain, gave me a heart, gave me a body. And to sit there and put things together. Okay, this is going to be chaos. This is going to be that. Look at the formical ways of how certain mathematical things go. Listen to this verse again, brother. And, and I got you. Listen to this again. 13 and 10. 
13 to 10. The book of Isaiah, Swaki. Wisdom of Solomon, 13 to 10. Right. But miserable are they. What, in, the, what the Lord say? But miserable, miserable are, are they. they. Read on. In and dead things is their hope. Right. Who called them gods? Who called them gods? Hold on. Which are the works of men's hands? When man works a work in their hands and creates something and say, oh, this thing is giving me protection now. Oh, this is healing me. That's what you said, brother. It's a ass, this is a, like another asset to, to my life. Brother, it, it, look. It's it, like how you wear it. It's, it's, it's not the same. This gives me nothing. I can throw this down on the ground and right I now. I can throw this down now. Too, so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's bring this up. Isaiah to the 31. I take it off. Right? Isaiah to the 31 and verse 7. You got, for in that day, every man shall cast away his idols of silver. His what? His, his idols, idols of silver. silver. You know what? And his idols of gold with your own hands. With your what? With, with your, your own, own hands. hands. No, I just, the Lord told me to do this and that. With, with your, your own hands. With your own hand, read. Have made unto you for a sin. The Lord said that's yeah. a sin. Yeah, that's okay. yeah. You, the, the most I use you to make that with your own hands to sin. So, but but now he commands all men to do what? Repent. Oh, repent, brother. So what makes yours different than Because mine? this gives me no power whatsoever, brother. This don't give me power. You told this don't I said, look. It's a sense of protection as, as me wearing listen, it. Listen, brother, listen. In a in a reality form of giving me some type that's man. like you wear that it's yeah, the I same did, way. I didn't make this for one. Two, this gives me no protection, no power, right. no healing, no nothing. This isn't real gold. This isn't none of that right. right there. But you made that for a sense of protection, for one. You got two ears on it to be symbolic of the Most High hearing all things. Like you said, we have a camera. You have that circle in the middle, symbolic of the Most High being in the middle. You have two things joined, two circles joined together, representing the old world and the new world being joined by God. That is an idol. That's the very definition of an idol. Bring this up. Group to the six. And verse 73. Right. Now, better therefore is the just man that have none idols. That has what? That, that have none, none idols. idols. No works in your hands. And here's the point. For he shall be far from reproach. The Lord said you'll be far from reproach. You need to protect you. Okay. And the Lord said his word heals you. His word protects you. He protects you. That is not protect you. So with that being said, you have to get rid of that. You have to. Now, if you feel like you can't do it right now, it is what it is. But, the most, you said what? I said in due time. Yeah, in due time, Lord willing, if once you further uh, uh, have more faith in the most high, you understand that, brother, that's an idol. And Lord willing, later on, you'll laugh at it like, wow, that was an idol the whole time. Even how you feel so emotionally attached to it. So you will get rid of it. Every time we bring it up, you can see how the message is going about it. Which means you have some type of emotion. Like that brother, if you take that off, though, yeah, you throw this in the street right now. I, I, I would. I can't do the same thing, but I would. You see how, you see how, you see how there's a butt? The butt is a simple fact of I know why. I don't need these things. I'm saying, I'm like, it's not an evil, I don't but sin. It was, I was literally going through a lot. And creating this, it just, it just, it looked, it wouldn't even, it didn't even look like this. I just kept adding to it, adding to it, adding to it. And it helped to it. It helped me get through those times. All right, but that's the idol. Yeah. Right. You said it helped me do what? Get it through the time. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're looking, you're looking at it wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on brother. Let me, let me just but say I'm trying to get y'all to think wrong. No, no, I, I got it, right. It's not like that. Let no. I me mean, can you say it real quick. Like, I don't idol this thing. Real quick, brother. Like, bro, real quick, bro. Real quick, real quick. Like, I got you. I got you. Real quick. Like the terror. You're a farmer. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hold it there, brother. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Hey, Philly, baby. Yeah, that's right. That's Philly. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Now, hold on. You said... I don't like that. I don't like that. I got you. I got you. You said... Hey, brother, I got you. I got you. Earlier, you said that the Lord... You said you saw that. You were like, oh, they know what they talk about. Yeah. How did we get to this point right here and now we don't know what we're talking about? Oh, I know. So we are... That's an idea. We have to be on a piece that I created, bro. It's not to displease this our God. It's not... Y'all gave me confirmation. Now I can go out the door and I'm like, okay. But you can't go out and teach our people that we Israelites were wearing that. Exactly. 
Bro, my only time if I want to wear that fashion, just like how you have that on, it don't, it don't have, this can't save me from a gunshot. No. This can't save me from motherfuckers. If I go down the street, I'm not from That's my ancestor. Flip the beat. Hold on one second. Hey, brother, hey, brother, go about your day, brother. Go about your day, brother. Go about that, today, that's brother. the reason why I keep that. Ahead, I love all Go about today. I love everybody. I love the Go fact that you exist. Give me Luke I don't today, like that. I don't, I don't, I'm mad with man. Give me Luke yeah. I don't, don't want to be with y'all. I don't want to be with nobody. Bring it up. Hey, brother, you got to act your age. Bring it up. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. What the Lord say? Behold, I, I give, give unto you power to tread on serpents. Read one more time. Behold, I, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. And scorpions. And who? And scorpions. What is men trying to take away the word? And scorpions. Read. And over all the power of the enemy. The Lord said he's given us power to tread over serpent, or scorpions, serpents, and all the power of the right. enemy. Read. And nothing Shall by any means hurt you. The Lord said nothing is going to hurt right. us. Nor stop this truth because it's still going to go on. Right. And we just had to get him up the block real right. quick. But brother, look, if you, don't feel, if you don't feel like you got to take it off right now, the Most High is going to work on your mind if you're supposed to believe in this thing. Right. That is the stumbling block at the moment. As we see, Lord willing, we're going to pray for you and that you do cast that in the street. If you're really about what you say, you have no problem throwing that away. But guess what? Right now, it seems like you're holding that to you. Just because you created with your hands, that's the very verses that we're bringing out. You made it with your hands. That's your idol you created. And you said when you created it, it healed you and helped you out and got you through tough times. No, hold on, hold on. Already healed before okay, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You was already healed before you created. Well, All praise. Ain't nobody know when they healed. Listen. We got you, brother. We got you. you know what I'm All we telling you now is, brother, you gotta repent. Uh -huh. You gotta change. Cool. That's it. It's cool. All right, brother. I'll be keeping on still to keep over going. Yo, most definitely, most definitely. And still come back out, brother. Yeah, well, still come out, brother. I still need directions, man. I'm trying to get to 901. Yeah, we got uh, you, brother. I'm like, uh, I gotta tell you how to add Yeah, we, no, we got you. Don't say it on the camera. Oh, I, I didn't even know you. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't say it on the camera. Good. But look, we, we gonna bring out the last verse, and we gonna talk to you on the side, brother. We got you. John 17. This is the book of John. This is the book of John. Chapter 17. Chapter 17. 17. And verse 1. And verse 1. Oh. These words spake out his side, and looked up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour has come. What the Lord say? Father, the hour has come. What the King of Kings say? Father, the hour has come. Read. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. And the Lord has always been glorified whenever we come out and minister his word and truth and sincerity. Read on, King. As thou hast given him power of all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this, and this is life eternal. eternal. What is this word? And, and this, this is life eternal. eternal. What is this Bible? And, and this, this is life eternal. eternal. This word is life eternal. Read. That they might know thee, the only true God. Now you can serve for you want. The, the only true God. God. You can make your own God. The only true God. God. You can serve Allah. The, the only, only true God. God. Read. And Hamashiach Yahweh whom thou hast sent. There's only one true God in the earth, and his name is Yahweh. Read on, King. I glorify thee on the earth. I finish the work. What the Lord do? I finish the work. What must we do? I finish the work. Read. Which thou gives me to do. And now, O oh Father, cause thou not me with thine own self, with, with, the, with, suck it, with the glory which I have with thee before the world was. Read. I manifest thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Out of the world. Out of the world. What must we come out of? Out of the world. Read. Find they were, and thou givest them me. And they have kept thy word. What are we doing? And they have kept thy word. What must we do? And they have kept thy word. And with that, call me a Shirala. Call me a Shirala. Call me a Shirala. Call me a Shirala. Call me a Shirala.